Join me today as I ride one of the best tourist trains in Southeast Asia. I'm taking the rare opportunity to travel on Thailand's Special Express No. 9 in a first-class sleeper. I'll let you know exactly what I thought from the spacious sleeping car to the ticket prices to what not to order for your dinner. We're heading on a 12-hour, 418-mile trip north to the jungle. Let's go. We're traveling from Bangkok to Chiang Mai. Enjoy the video. Today's video starts with a car ride to the brand new Klung Tep Apiwa Central Terminal. This was opened in 2023 in the Bang Su district as the terminus for Thailand's premier long distance trains. It's the largest railway station in Southeast Asia and replaced the previous terminus, the iconic Hua Lam Phong, which is now only used for commuter and regional trains. The scale of this place is really something, it's massive, it feels like an airport. Today, we're on the Special Express No. 9 to Chiang Mai, which conveys a single special Chinese first-class sleeping car. There are, of course, ticket booths at the station, but you shouldn't need these. You'll need to book this train well in advance, and I'll go into how I secured my tickets later in the video. Don't know if you can see from my uh, hair blowing in the breeze, but the best thing about this station is the aircon. I'm actually really surprised at how kind of chilled out and nice the station actually is. I was expecting a very chaotic experience, but so far, so good. The station has a whopping 26 platforms. It's huge, and it's not really full of life yet. So it feels a little bit empty and a bit soulless, but pleasant nonetheless. There is at least a nod to the station's heritage though, as well as scale models of this monstrosity of a station, there's a reproduction of the old station master's office in the reception area of the terminal, well worth checking out if you're passing through. There are left luggage lockers available for a moderate fee and, not quite open when I travelled, but I am assured operating now is the first class lounge, which you'd be able to use if travelling on the first class sleeper. Boarding begins about 20 minutes prior to departure, and I definitely recommend getting a head start by using the Travelator and not the lift. This platform is a tremendous 600 meters long, one of the longest at the station. Okay, we're looking for car 13. Might be quite a walk. Okay, I think we're right at the back of the train. But that might be a good thing, you'll see later. This is a surprisingly long train. There's a lot of second class sleepers on here. And I think there's just one first class sleeper and that is car 13. If you're impressed by the sheer size and scale of Bangkok's central terminal, then you might really enjoy Train Station 2, a railway building mobile game, which is sponsoring today's video. Have you heard of it? What level are you at? I love Train Station 2. Whenever I'm traveling, it's a great way to pass the time. Build new railways, transport and receive goods, challenge other railway managers, and upgrade your trains to expand your reach. This is a truly global game with loads of regions to expand into. The first one is Britain, which is pretty cool, and I've also unlocked Germany and this very cool steampunk bonus event. One of the best ways to get the most out of the game is learning how to employ multiple dispatchers to run things as efficiently as possible. You'll build quicker and have a lot more fun. This is such a relaxing and chilled out game to play, it's now on the first page of the apps on my phone. Ready to dive into the world of Train Station 2? Click the link in the video description to play the game yourself. Build your dream railway and see how big you can grow your empire. Of course, as a thank you for being one of my viewers, here's an exclusive gift code just for you. Use code LUCAS for 10 free gems and get yourself off to a special head start today. Have fun! 
Hello. You need the ticket, yes? Yeah. Of course. Got it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Here we go. Whoa! I think we can be happy with that. This is a beautiful sleeping car. These Chinese sleeper cars are well air conditioned and surprisingly spacious, but we've no time to admire them now. We're soon off and heading north to Chiang Mai. Our train slips out of the station with no fanfare. Tomorrow, we'll wake up in the jungle on our way to northern Thailand's largest city. The first stop is a familiar one to me, Don Wang Airport. This is worth knowing in case you plan on arriving in Thailand by plane. There's no need to trek into the city to catch this sleeper train. We pick up just a handful of passengers here. Dinner and breakfast are available, and there is room service in first class. Expect to pay about 190 Thai baht for dinner and about 100 for breakfast. The food's just arrived, and while there are a few Western friendly options on the menu, I've decided that I'm in Thailand, I'll uh, push the boat out and go for something a bit spicy. Honestly, the food isn't that good on board. It's cheap, but I think with the tourists that board this train, they could sell much better fare than this. Thai food is magnificent when done properly, and this ginger chicken dish was a bit of a disappointment. Although friends reassure me this was the least appetizing choice on the menu, and I'd have had much more luck choosing something else. If you really don't like the look of the food, there are some very good food outlets at the station, so feel free to stock up in advance. Time to get to the reason that many of you will be watching the video for. Well, what do you get in the first class sleeper? This sleeper car is a two berth with upper and lower bunks, two seats and a flip down table. All the bedding is provided and an attendant will make up the beds for you when it's time. There are also TV and radio volume controls, but to be honest, I have no idea how these worked at all. The TV shows a variety of live programming and pre-recorded railway content, but none of it was that interesting to me, especially as I couldn't hear it. One thing that's really easy to miss is the overhead luggage rack, which will take a rucksack or cabin size bag. Each first class sleeper also has its own wash basin and washing area with cups provided for drinking water. Please don't drink the water from the tap though, bottles are provided for every passenger. On security, the doors lock from the inside, but not the outside. The train is however fully attended and very secure. Also, it is possible to book adjoining cabins and have the doors between them open to make a kind of suite. Overall, this is a really comfortable sleeper, but with one big downside. I wouldn't like to be in here as a couple with lots of bags. There's no checked bag facility. There probably should be between popular station pairs. And really, there's not much room to keep your bags in the berth. That's our room tour done. And now it's time to talk about why I've got two tickets in my hand. 
Each bed on the train is sold individually, so if you want solo occupancy of the double cabin, you need to buy both berths. I used 12go.com, selecting two passengers when making the search. Be warned though, sometimes this sleeper is completely sold out, and very often only the second class sleepers can be available. This product is difficult to book, so plan early and keep checking. The first class tickets go on sale about three months ahead of departure, and most of them are sold by travel agencies. I collected my pre-booked tickets from the 1-2-Go office by the old station. It was really easy, I just bought my confirmation and ID and I was given the tickets straight away. It's really good service and I even got a bottle of water for my trouble. The dining car is really quite a walk through seven of these second class open sleeper carriages. You can book a second class sleeper for about 1,250 baht or 35 US dollars, a really good value option if first class isn't available. The dining car was cash only and surprisingly wasn't as well occupied as I thought it would be. If I was in one of the more cramped second class sleepers, I'd definitely spend my waking hours here instead. Even though I'm in first class and I do get room service, I love to just break out and come to the dining car. Any train I get the chance, come to the dining car. The toilets are located at the very end of the sleeper car. Each first class sleeper has two identical proper bathrooms, as well as a curious urinal in a smaller space. There is also a communal shower. No charge is made to use it and towels are provided, but you'll need to sort of freehand it. There's no shower head holder higher than four foot off the ground. Toiletries are provided, but to be honest, I always bring my own anyway. Good night. Good morning, it's just gone 5 a.m. I've had my shower already and I'm in my happy place, just sitting here with the lights off, watching the lights go past. The bed, by the way, was very comfortable and the bedding decent quality. I managed a good seven hours of unbroken sleep and I woke up refreshed and ready for the morning. The humid jungle is a very weird place to be at twilight.
We're now on the home straight to Chiang Mai. Well, we are just coming into Lampoon. It is 6.50 a.m. and my breakfast still isn't here. Uh, next stop, Chiang Mai, in about 25 minutes. So let's see if I get fed on this train. Well, if you bet that I wouldn't get my breakfast, you were wrong. It's just been served and I'm a very happy man. Breakfast wasn't as disappointing as dinner was and I was hungry. I had a day in Chiang Mai ahead of me. Coffee is also available from the dining car attendant and this was pretty good and gave me the caffeine kick I'd need. We arrive on time in Chiang Mai at 7.15 a.m., bright and early. This is one of the most interesting sleeper trains in Southeast Asia, and the fact it can be difficult to book speaks volumes about its popularity. Chiang Mai is such a different vibe to Bangkok, and the train is definitely the most fun way to reach it. Flying takes just over an hour and costs half the price of the first-class sleeper, but it does feel like cheating when there's an adventurous railway option available. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to click the link in the description. Use code LUCAS for a boost of 10 free in-game gems and join me in playing Train Station 2 today. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.